It's no longer possible to post unpaid work on Hitmarker. Going forward, we're not accepting volunteers, internships that are unpaid, or commission listings. We know many of you feel strongly about this topic as we do, so we've explained our decision here. That's crazy. And I think everyone is probably very happy about it, the majority. I don't know if I'm happy about it. But let's see what they have to say. We're updating how applicants work on Hitmarker. Here's what's changing when and why. On Monday, November 22nd, two major changes will be coming to Hitmarker. It's really small. Let's, let's blow it up for you guys. So you guys in the back can read it. Unpaid and commission only roles will no longer be allowed on the platform. Email. Why are you moving unpaid and commission only roles? Hitmarker itself started life as a volunteer passion project in the esports industry in 2017. At the time, volunteering was really the only way to enter the esports industry. As such, we felt a duty other people like us who are trying to build something with extremely limited resources by allowing them to post unpaid roles. Understandable. We've also always moderated volunteer roles very rigorously and have rejected more than we've approved. That's really great to hear. I hope it's true. No idea if it is. But we've recently found ourselves becoming more and more uncomfortable with these kind of posts appearing on our platform. At our core, we believe in a fair day's pay for a fair day's work. And that's why from now on, we will no longer treat volunteer roles, unpaid internships, and commission-only roles as equal to their paid counterparts. I agree with that. Volunteering and interning pay unpaid should be for charitable or public causes only. I disagree with that. There's no place for it in the private sector. The people working unpaid in the private sector is actually illegal in many countries. What is a private sector? For-profit businesses run by individuals and company. I didn't know this is true. Okay, so let me let me talk about why why I actually love free work. With obviously a caveat because free work definitely takes advantage of a lot of people. And not everyone should be doing free work. And a lot of people that have free work should definitely be paying. So if you have an industry that doesn't make money, like esports is having trouble making money, we're getting better and better at it. That's why we're all concerned about this esports bubble that people talk about. That means like, if it's not making money, that means we people cannot get hired. And then there's no jobs. And if people can't work on these things, then how does the industry make money? Now, I think the answer to that is have better people working on these things and being smarter about it. But when you have a low supply of jobs and a lot of people wanting those jobs, how do they get the experience to be qualified for those jobs, right? And the thing is, like, that means people need to grind and figure out how to get those skills. Right? It's this whole like stupid thing of like, hey, we're looking for entry level positions from post college grads must have three years of experience. It's like, how the heck am I supposed to have three years of experience if this entry level job, right? So that's why like you find ways to do projects and gain those experiences and network, right? Like how I did that was I created a podcast for three years and worked on that. Then I created podcasts for other people. Then I did other things. I found those projects and jobs and wait and did the research to get uh, equipped and qualified one step at a time to get better and be qualified for actual job in a very competitive environment. Everyone can do that. I don't know if everyone has the resources or understands how to do that, right? Uh, that's why education is so important because people, every person can do it but they might not know how to do it or if they can even do it, right? So that's where one avenue of getting there and gaining those experiences is doing free work. So if people are able to post like, I'm working on this project somewhere on like a job board, then that gives me an opportunity as someone with zero experience to be like, I can learn it and get better at it and you give me experience and projects to work on, almost like homework, then I can put it on my resume. Then I can learn something. Then I can increase my network, right? And especially if Hitmarker is vetting to make sure that the, they're not exploit, exploiting free work and their healthy work environments or whatever, like then that's great. That's a place for people 
that are not skilled enough to get paid to do what they want to do can actually find those ways to do what they want to do. If I want to learn how to market a YouTube channel, right, and grow a YouTube channel, I might not be a good YouTuber, and therefore I can't learn and get better at growing a YouTube channel if I'm just making it myself. But if I can help random esports org that has some notable players that has some attention and exercise these things like being an editor or knowing how to do thumbnails or just having content strategy, I can pick up those skills and have a project to show results on for in my portfolio, in my resume, whatever, to actually gain those, th gain those skills, that experience to get a full-time job or get a paid job, right? So I'm glad that there's, they're being critical about free work, but now where do people go and find free projects to work on to get better? That's, that's what worries me, right? Because then do you go on Twitter? and then not have someone vetting like your the organization that you're doing free work for right how if, how are you guys going to find free work how do you find it i don't know i went on hitmarker to find like when i was looking for free work i went on hitmarker i put on like alerts and jobs like and searches on twitter that i would check to scroll through um maybe you find the right discord channels but how do you find discord channels like right so it was nice to have somewhere to find that free work. Now I don't know where you find it. So that's what worries me. They opened a Discord server for the love of it channel. That's smart. I like that. Khalid Esports is a free time is a free part-time job. <laughs> Change my mind. I yeah, and that that's the thing. That is a it's almost like a hobby. You know, we want to create something. We don't care about getting paid because we just love esports and we want to create an esports organization at our, on our campus. Maybe that's what the esports like org is, right? What do you do if you don't go to a college campus? What if you don't go to college? What if you're in high school looking for free work because you have like a full summer off? I can figure it out because I'm experienced. I'm, I've lived longer than a lot of you guys and I just like know how to figure things out, but someone that might not be as equipped or doesn't understand or doesn't have as much experience as me might not be able to find those free projects, those interesting projects to be a part of, right? And you know, if all of them suck, then yeah, then just get rid of them, I guess. But it at least gave somewhere because I even think about like when I was between jobs, when I was still work, like I quit and I was like still getting into esports. Like I worked for like, I volunteered at Gangstars, which is like a pretty actual notable name. I worked for some random organization called 12 Nights, which I doubt exists anymore. I think I've worked for like two other, like I worked for Esports Labs and some other things that like got me to exercise marketing strategy, content strategy, editing. And I would not have been able to get the job that I have now without those, or at least that fat, or as, as quickly as I did. So again, like it's not that I support that everyone should work for free. It's that like tough luck. It's hard to get paid work because there's just not enough money to go around and not enough jobs to go around. So then instead of just twiddling my thumbs, hoping that I can get an esports job, like people need to do volunteer work and side hustles or, and find ways and processes to gain those experiences. And now Hitmark, now you don't, we don't have them now because Hitmarker doesn't have those unpaid things. It's the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Except think about it. The, the people in esports get more esports jobs and the people without esports jobs still don't have esports jobs. This was at least one avenue that they could work on it. But maybe the great side effect means that like I'm a, I'm a social media manager with no esports experience, but I want to get an esports and I've been grinding for like 24 months to try to get into esports. Instead, maybe I get a job at... Um, the local floral shop or some company that I don't care about and I get paid an okay wage and have health benefits and I hate my job, but I'm making money for two years and not in crippling debt. And then after three years, like, wow, I have the skills to apply for Riot and get a job at Riot or with Team Liquid or some other company. Or I'm like, yeah, so like suddenly like you have the opportunity, uh, you're forced into getting a quote unquote real job and then gaining the skills and making money and not like pursuing a passion that's, uh, like pursuing a passion in a 
way that is actually damaging in your life. <laughs> I definitely think that unpaid is unacceptable if it's a large org. If you're if you're an organization that has gotten into the LCS with a ten million dollar or fifteen million dollar buy-in or whatever it is, you can afford minimum wage, right? You can afford probably an okay salary or a good salary. And if you can't, then you're hiring the wrong people because you're not doing the right things. And that's what I'm all about. I want to make sure this esports thing is not a bubble and doesn't pop. I want I want there to be a pop to kind of get rid of the chaff and get rid of the crap in the in the industry. But I really want um, this industry to stay. And I hope that like my children or you guys or people that are younger than you or whatever, like they actually have an opportunity where like they can go into college or graduate high school being like, wait, I can get into esports and I want to get into esports. And it's not freaking impossible to get in. And it's not lucky to get in. Like there's a way to do it. I am still ultimately net positive on this move. I think it's good. I think it, it shakes waves. It makes a statement. That's good.